Okay, so um, Wednesday down here, Mount Eliza. I'm in the gymnasium. In the little gymnasium up the back of the facilities down at Mount Eliza, Melbourne Business School down here. Uh, I'm programming this week with BHP B uh, grads, uh, co-facilitating, and um, yeah, it's a bit of a test. Uh, obviously, I uh, bought the rowing machine down here, bought a bike down here, I've got my sneakers so I can go jogging. Um, so effectively, what have I done today? I've basically worked all day from 8.30 with grads till about quarter past five, jumped on the bike, did an hour down, back off Mount Eliza down to Frankston, out in the flats to Carrum, then back up to Mount Eliza again. So it ended up being about an hour and ten, I think I rode for. Uh, 100 and, uh, 100, 375 watts for an hour and ten. Uh, heart rate was 140. So my bike work feels like it's going all right. Uh, ergo though, oh, uh, just did 20 minutes. Uh, 146 average, I reckon heart rate would have been maybe average 158, maybe. Um, just felt a bit fatigued, uh, end of the long day, it's now 9 o'clock at night. So I keep getting asked, how do I fit training? In? Uh, I don't. I don't. Um, so I'm tired. So 9 o'clock at night, I'll be in bed, 9.30, half an hour. I'll have a little drink of something and uh, hit the hay and then I'll be up tomorrow morning at about 5.30 to go for a bike ride. So, um, so these sort of, this week anyway, it's just fit training in morning and afternoon, evening. Uh, mindset, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm a bit, a bit frustrated, I suppose, because I'm just reflecting as I'm training as to where I was at six, seven weeks ago and uh, just feel like I'm doing all that work all over again and uh, so this is the hardest part of it, you know, been back on the ergo now for almost a week, been back on the bike for sort of stationary bike anyway for two or three weeks. Um, I've become pretty good at getting back up on the horse but yeah, it just does really take a hit. Um, you know, it's a bit isolated in terms of training alone, uh, which I don't mind but yeah, weather's cold, all the stuff that probably counts against you a little bit, so it really challenges your motivation. And then when you sort of feel like you're getting 160 heart rate and you're only sitting on 147, it starts to sort of play with your head a bit. So, uh, you know, what should I be sitting on? I'd like to be, you know, doing 20 minute pieces at 143, 142, comfortably 150 heart rate. So I've got about 10 beats to drop on average and about five seconds. <laughs> A long way to go. Uh, so yeah, it's really about not focusing on probably what I was doing eight weeks ago and not focusing on what's going to be happening in eight weeks time, <laughs> but more or less just focusing on right now and just letting my body adapt, adapt, adapt slowly without getting too frustrated or down on myself. Uh, not easy to do because you like to be going better, but um, where's the rib at? Ribs, uh, okay, I have a scan on Monday so I'll find out, but uh, yeah, I'm not 100% convinced it's going to be good. So I suppose that's playing on my mind a little bit as well as to you know, what happens if it doesn't fix itself and uh, I've got to manage that. I've got to manage that. It'll be shit if I've got to manage that. Um, lower back, pretty good. Yeah, a little bit aggravated jumping back on the ergo now again. But I suppose uh, I'm confident now that I can sort of push through that little bit of stability stuff and getting it stronger again. Uh, what else am I doing right now? I'm doing push-ups and handstands as well. Look, other body. And uh, yeah, so interesting week working with grads on their learning and development. At the same time, I'm trying to remind myself about my own learning and development and that uh, you know, my motivation for this whole journey has to be uh, spot on or otherwise... Um, I'll make mistakes and I uh, won't be up to the standard, so very keen to make sure I don't let the other guys down and uh, don't let the people down who have um, supported me so far and yeah, got to do the job anyway, till some other time in the future when I'm probably looking a bit fresher and not quite so tired over and out. Cheers.